Hello, my name is Kim Sauer at Electronica 2014. I'm joined today by Joan from Moltec. Joan, this is one of the most exciting interviews I'm going to be having because you are super, super cool. Thank you. Um, now, you are heading up the Interconnect Technology Centers for Moltec. Correct. This is where it all happens. Exactly. So let's, let's start. What is it? and where are you based, and then we'll get into what you actually do, and we've got some examples to look at. Okay, so the Interconnect Technology Center um, is, it started in um, Silicon Valley, California, so we're in Milpitas, and it was designed to do next generation and generation plus type of interconnects in printed circuits. And then because we do our high volume manufacturing in Zhuhai, China, we decided to now invest and put a duplicate of what we do in the California region mm -hmm. in right there on campus of our high volume manufacturer. You can't mm -hmm. beat that. Excellent. Yes. And so so the goal is really to to, to look into the future to, to to look at what might be going on and yeah. to figure out how all these things can be turned into something that is then manufacturable. Right. Um, so there's a hell of a lot of in intelligent people working away at, at really cool stuff. So let's talk about that cool okay. stuff. Um, things like wearables are buzzwords that are going yes. on. And I think what people are looking at at the moment, wearables, they're, they're sort of, they all know the jawbone that's sure. talking to your mobile mm -hmm. phone. But you're taking this further, aren't you? Yes, we are. So what are you doing? So there's a lot of things that are happening in wearables. And you have to understand really what the market's going to need and what do you wear? You wear your clothes all the time. So that's a wearable. And so how can you leverage and make that fabric intelligent? And then how, once you have that way to make it intelligent, where does it go from there? So we're trying to connect everything. Mm -hmm. It's, it, you know, I don't want to be cliche and do the, the um, uh, interconnect or the technology of things, right? But for us, what we try to do is we try to understand what's going on in the market with the fabrics, what's going on with the wearables specifically, and then things like on skin. So you have all this real estate that you can do some sort of wearable technology. And that's what we have to decide is where do we want to put our energies and how do we get that out mm -hmm. in the market. So if we talk about the, those sort of, sort of wearables like the jawbone, I mean, they're, they're cool. Yes. Um, they're, Essentially the same shape, the same colors, or maybe they vary in color. Sure. But there's a whole market out there of people, you know, I've got a different tie to the tie I wore yesterday. You've yes. got jewelry. And, yes. And so does that open up a huge spectrum of possibility for you? So, so it's not, it, it opens up so many different areas for us to focus in. So if you look at jewelry, for instance, you know, I, I, I'm wearing some of the wearables, you know, wrist wearables. And that's and, a trend in itself. And this is a trend in and of itself, yeah. different colors, different shapes, different use. Um, but for somebody like me, um, you know, I, I like jewelry. And so why can't we leverage what's going on in the jewelry space? I, I, for instance, this is an activity monitor. Mm -hmm but it's a nice pendant that you can wear. And so you can be out at the supermarket, you don't have, you have something that's a little bit more trendy, a little bit more, uh, something that you really would like to wear and it could show off. And you're still getting the information that you need as you yeah. do your activity. I mean, it's, it's the perfect combination because people like to accessorize. Yeah. Women love to accessorize. And that's the word, accessorize. So exactly. one day you might be going out for a jog, so the jawbone fits with that's your right. outfit, but when you go to a cocktail party, well, not so much. Right. So the pendant. The pendant, the really, pendant, earrings, yeah. you know, things that you would wear, you know, a nice bracelet on the wrist. Mm. You, you look at all these accessories mm. and how do you leverage those accessories? Yeah. And so in the Interconnect Technology Center, what we're trying to do is we try to, to put together module type of solutions. So whether it's going to go in, in a, something like this, which would be more jewelry based, or something that's an activity band, I can use the sim similar type of technology and so that way, I can get it to market for our customers a lot, to, mm. you know, a lot quicker. Yeah. So it's for us, it's really nice to be able to identify what's required and then also put it in a, a manufacturable form, but make it modular so I can put it in different different places mm. in the market. 
does that mean the, the, the interconnect materials that you use, that, that's your biggest challenge on that front? Because you're putting it onto the skin. Um, you know, I've got different skin to you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I might be jogging, so I'm stretching and, and doing all that. So are the materials a, a, the, the key challenge for you or is it a whole host of different things? So there's, there's multiple things. The materials really is where it starts. Mm. And so you need to understand how that material is going to be used. Um, for instance, this is uh, you know this is the on skin patch, and if you think about it, I need it to adhere, and I also need it to move. And oh, by the way, I also need it to function when it's moving. So whether it's like this or stretched or whatever, mm -hmm. so the material choice that we make has a huge impact on where it's going to go. Um, so something like this, it might be a little bit more flexible than maybe something I would do in a different part of the body. So the materials are really critical to us. Then you have to take into account. Once you have that material and once you have the design of the printed circuit, where's it going to go? Is it going to go on some uh, on skin? Is it going to hang in the ears? Is it going to go inside the ears? Do I need to worry about moisture? Do I need to worry about all this movement? You have to now look at the end product, hmm. how it's going to be used, and then decide how you're going to design the printed circuit in order for it to be reliable. Hmm. Because you want this to be reliable. Um, and I want it to be reliable because I don't want it returned to me. And so the key to us is the materials, what's the application, and design for the application. And one of the things that we've done in our Interconnect Technology Center is we do a lot of modeling and simulation. And so that gives us a understanding of when I start looking at what the end product's going to be and how somebody's going to use it, I can simulate what are the stresses in that? And as a result of simulating, I can pick the material, I can change the design, I can provide right off, just by simulation, right out of the chute, the solution. And that makes it a lot easier for the customers and a lot easier for the people that have to assemble this. And then the end user doesn't even have to think about it anymore. But I can go to market a lot quicker by using these type of methodologies yeah. that we've, that we've put in our ITC centers. And that's really what you want. The end user doesn't need to think about it. You do that's all right. the thinking for them. For them. Right. It works in the end. It's really, really cool. I'm it super, is. super excited and about I love it. This job. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to have met you and thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you.